What it do though? Um, let's talk about drink champs. So, season two is up. Uh, the first one they went with is Onyx. And I couldn't believe how poor the video was. I just couldn't believe it. Uh, while they was on hiatus, um, there's a show came out with AK and Joe Button. Everyday Struggle. And I couldn't believe the production of Everyday Struggle. It was unbelievable. And the numbers was if the numbers was like something I haven't seen. And uh, Complex was smart to bring in AK because he had a huge following. So his follow, I mean, the numbers is, is crazy. I love the show. Uh, while we talking about everyday struggle, I just wish um, academics didn't appear to be I'm not going to say punk. I'm going to say lower than Joe. Not standing his ground. It would be good if he, you know, even though he do step up to Joe, he tell him to shut the F up. Yeah, that's cool. But it would be more interesting, interesting if them guys never agree. I love it. But just don't look like a punk. Uh, Joe Button, to me, seemed like he got a short fuse. And it just seemed like he's going to, F everything up and throw it away and kind of like ruin the show. They're going to get someone else. And I just hope it stay Joe Button and academics. Uh, Joe Buttons have to realize that it's not all about him. It just seemed like he just explodes so fast and he don't care. At the moment, he don't care what nobody think. And with that type of attitude, the show will be in danger. So... Just take it easy. It's fun. You get to crack the microphone and touch a million people. Joe Buttons. Oh, my God. Awesome. You know, but it just seemed like his temper is just so short that uh, sooner or later, it just seemed like he'd just walk right out <laughs> and say, F it all over an opinion or not agreeing with somebody. And I could be wrong. But a lot of people that's raised with a mother only uh, have female tendencies of getting mad and stomping off and walking away. Men don't roll like that. Men sit there, discuss it, even though it's hard to, um, to keep it real. Everybody always say, keep it real, keep it real. But when it comes to a confrontation, nobody, everybody want to be tutti fruity when it comes to addressing issues that's why the world is in the state that it is family is in the state that it is because nobody don't want to tell the truth to one another everybody want to get along and talk behind each other back so hopefully joe buttons will uh, you know somebody will talk to him and be like relax you got it made and bigger things is going to come from this show if if he's just chill people watching people waiting to pull y'all in the bet late night show something good can come out of this so joe button put a perm in your your attitude and relax back to the drink champs uh the way they shot the onyx interview was sad you know and that show getting paper they getting money and it just seemed like they shot it with a two dollar camera like you know, that it was disrespectful to me as a fan. It was disrespectful for the Drink Champ brand. It was disrespectful to Onyx. Uh, I had DM DJ EFN and, and asked him, did he see the new Joe Button show? And was just letting him know, you know, yo, they putting up numbers. And when you guys come back. You guys got to come strong, man, and take it to another level. Um, it just seemed like they just, you know, they think it's sweet. 
like I like I told them before on the other I did another video it did 90,000 views I was telling them like yo somebody can come in and take all the ideas from the drink champs and make it better you know not that Joe Button and them took any ideas but they show was better man and I never thought it could be possible uh, put some respect on the drink champs uh, Nori I mean you guys Y'all got revolt. I mean, that thing should be professional. It should be at another level. It, it shouldn't be at the same level it was on the last season. Onyx was poor. It was sad. And, I, and I'm, a, I'm a fan. I never miss no episodes, Nori. I'm just saying, you know. Hopefully you can um, take criticism. And please, man, don't ever do that again. I mean, just you need to get a professional camera person. You need a professional settings. Uh, it need to be colorful. Did you see the first take? I watched first take. I'm a fan of first take. Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bell is a fan. When the ball left, I said, I'll never watch that show that the ball on. I've undisputed. Man, when they showed the lights and the colors, I was drawn into it. And that's the same way the Drink Champs is. It's just not about Nori or EFN. You got you got to put on the show, and the show that, that what, what I seen with Onyx was poor. It was horrible. You know, I hope you guys do better because I want to see Drink Champs. Uh, hey, I want to see Drink Champs on CBS. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? With an audience bigger, bigger, bigger. It shouldn't be no less than that. What y'all did with Onyx is unexcusable, man. It was sad. So, I hope that uh, it get better. I seen the Amber Rose. Um, I seen the Amber Rose. I heard the audio. Dope. Awesome. When she went to the bathroom, they let the tape roll and then still put it out. It's like, it won't last like that. I don't care how big you guys think that the Dream Champs is. It won't last without editing you can't just put stuff anything out you can't do it nori whoever's in charge and i, I liked the diamond rose episode some of the stuff she said was weird it was it was whack about coming from philly and she knew she had to get out of there what no it seemed to me i i can't i can't say exactly what she said but i know she said like Ain't no beautiful people in Philly. That's why she had to get out of there. To me, that's how she said it. And I'm like, man, you must haven't heard of a girl named Terry Miller or uh, Kim Cologne. Whew. You understand? So many beautiful people in Philly, and they didn't have to sell themselves to get on top. They they didn't have to perform sluttery. I'm not saying Amber Rose performing sluttery, but I am saying that, ain't I? So, um, yeah, Drink Champs, man, please, please take your time to put stuff out. People fiend for the next Drink Champ episode, and they got to be done with professionalism, man. You know, that's it. I, if, if, if I see that on Revolt, that Onyx episode, I might throw up on the screen, my nigga. <laughs> I thought I was going to sneeze, didn't you? Nigga, please.